Okay, let's go ahead and find the angle of this triangle. And the angle we're talking about is this angle right here. Okay, so this angle right there in the corner. And we have some information. Now, I'm not going to give you um, too much of a, uh, too many hints right now. So uh, you can kind of see the figure. We got the, we definitely have a triangle. And then we have the lengths of the triangle. And then we have this little uh, notation down there. Hopefully that means something to you. This right here is actually uh, key to this problem. And then, you know, again, these particular sides also mean something. So hopefully you understand how to solve this problem. Now, there's actually two ways to uh, approach this. There's a very long way to find the answer. And then there is a more direct path. OK, you, def you actually need to know uh, both ways. But, but uh, really what I'm interested in uh, teaching you is this direct path. It's something you absolutely need to know. And uh, we're going to get into uh, exactly how you find the angle of this triangle in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are having a difficult time in mathematics, maybe you've failed math before in the past, maybe you're struggling with your current math course, uh, maybe you're not getting enough math instruction from your uh, uh, how much time you have in class, or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching style, whatever the case might be, I've been teaching math for decades. I don't like to think of myself as teaching math. Uh, I'd like to think of myself as explaining math. I really break things down in super clear and understandable bite-sized pieces so everyone can learn. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, I can definitely help you out. Now, if uh, you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, HiSET, uh, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams if you homeschool, you definitely have to check out my homeschool math courses. We were just uh, ranked number one. We just won a big contest for middle and high school mathematics. So definitely check out our homeschool math courses if you homeschool. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this uh, video as well. But if you want to have uh, great grades in math, you have to learn how to take great math notes. So start improving your notes and everything will get better. Okay, so... Um, if you know how to do this uh, problem, go ahead and uh, uh, put into the comment section uh, this missing angle. What is this angle right here in this corner, x degrees, given this information? And uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into how to solve this. All right, so what we're really dealing with right here is something called a special right triangle, okay? You definitely must absolutely understand special right triangles and there's two types that you need to know there is the 30 60 90 and then there is the 45 45 90. so again we're talking about special right triangles so let's go uh, down here and take a look at this uh, uh, figure here this little notation this little box in the corner of the triangle indicates that this is a right triangle Okay, but what does that mean? Well, it means this angle right there is 90 degrees, okay? 90 degrees, and uh, uh, right triangles are very, very important in geometry, trigonometry, and mathematics in general. So you gotta uh, make sure you know how to recognize them. So the only way you're going to have a right triangle, if you're given a, a particular triangle, is if you see this little box, this little uh, thing in the corner, okay, that's one way or it's, uh, you're explicitly told that this is 90 degrees. You just can't assume just because a uh, triangle looks like a right triangle that it is right. You must have confirmation by either the degree measure or this little symbol right there. But if you have the degree measure or that symbol, then you're dealing with a right triangle. Now, as I indicated, uh, there are some special right triangles. It's very, very, very important. So I'm going to explain special right triangles here in a second. But let's talk about this longer path to uh, find this angle, okay? So some of you out there might know some basic uh, tr uh, right triangle trigonometry, i.e. tangent, uh, sine, and cosine, okay? These are called trigonometric ratios. You could actually take this information and set up a problem uh, to solve for this angle. So that's one approach, but this is a longer approach, and you do need to know how to solve uh, you know, right triangle problems using trigonometric ratios. That, you absolutely need to know how to uh, do that. But 
Um, this requires the use of a calculator um, very often, okay, unless you're dealing with some special angles. So more often than not, you're going to have to have a calculator to do these problems. So if you don't have a calculator and given this problem, well, you're going to need uh, plan B. But plan B really should be plan A, and that is you need to understand special right triangles. So let's go ahead and get into that now, and then we'll answer this question. You'll see it's uh, not that difficult at all. But I am um, kind of building this up because I really want to stress the importance of uh, you know knowing about special right triangles. That You should try to put this into your long-term uh, memory. Okay, so let's get to it. So... Again, uh, there's two types of special right triangles. The one that we're talking about now here is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So let's take a look at this triangle and uh, let's first identify the short, uh, the shortest side of this triangle. Okay. Well, the shortest side is this side right here. Now, what is the longest side of this triangle? It, well, it would be the hypotenuse. Okay. And you can see it's right here. Okay. So when we're dealing with a uh, 30, 60, 90 uh, right triangle, the hypotenuse is always double the shortest side. This is actually the longest side. This is the shortest side. We'll talk about this side here in a second, but let's just get these angles in. So when you have uh, this situation, okay, uh, where the hypotenuse is double the smallest side, this angle right here is 60 degrees. So if this is 60 and this is 90, Okay, what angle is this going to be? Well, this has got to be 30 because the sum of these angles has to be 180 degrees. So in a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, the setup is this. The shortest side, whatever it is, the hypotenuse will always be double the shortest side. Okay, so let's just make sure we're clear on that. The, here we have the shortest side. The longest side is always the hypotenuse, which is double the shortest side. Now let's talk about this middle side. Okay. Well, the middle side is whatever the shortest side is times the square root of three. That's the length of that uh, middle side right there, that uh, uh, in-between length. So knowing that pattern, okay, let's take a look at this problem, okay? So we're dealing with a right triangle. All right, like, oh, okay, that's a right triangle. Let's see if this is a special right triangle. So what should catch your eye is this short side. I'm like, okay, got three, and then this hypotenuse is double the shortest side. So this should ring off alarm bells. You're like, oh, three, and this is double, or three times two is six. So we're like saying, well, let's check this medium side right here. Is it three times the square root of three? It is. Therefore, this right here has to be 60 degrees. And that is it, okay? That's how we answer this question without a calculator. Now, one thing that students do uh, mess up is they'll they'll say oh this is uh, 30 degrees uh, let me do this right here they'll put the 30 degrees here and they'll put the 60 degrees there so you don't want to do that and the best way to avoid making that mistake is to kind of accentuate your little triangle like this okay so let's say this is two this is four now you, this right here is definitely more than double this length but you can see that this is a bigger angle than this angle. This is the small angle. This is the bigger angle. So this has got to be the 60, and this has to be the 30. So, you know, try to have your uh, drawing somewhat in scale so you don't mess up where uh, the, th the 30 and 60 go. And that's also a common mistake when students know this. So anyways, 30, 60, 90 are right triangles, special right triangle. You definitely have to uh, know this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this shows up a lot on all sorts of tests. Now, there is another uh, special right triangle, 45, 45, 90. Um, and I have more videos on this uh, in my geometry, trigonometry playlist. So check those out as well. But uh, anyways, 30, 60, 90, special right triangle. And if you knew this, by the way, I must go ahead and give you a nice uh, let's make the year 1982. That was a good year. Um, you know, you're like, wow, 1982. Maybe you, some of you weren't even born. 1982 Mohawk, A plus 100%. Yes, we did used to wear uh, hair like that. I didn't wear hair like that. Okay, you might be like, oh, well, what? Oh, I used to wear like a flat top. But we thought we were pretty cool. The only problem with that haircut 
One, it just required too much hairspray. The 1980s, it's true, we did use way too much hairspray. Uh, uh, so I'm kind of glad that those days are gone. But I do miss the 80s. That was a great decade to grow up in. But uh, let's get back to math. Okay, so again, uh, there is the long way with, uh, to do this problem. So if you were thinking, oh, I'm going to do the tangent uh, sine or cosine, that's good thinking. Okay, however, uh, you cannot forget about special right triangles. All right, so if this little video helped you out, go ahead and consider helping me out by smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math, and like uh, calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of uh, all this content that I post. I post it for you because I really don't want anyone to be left behind when it comes to mathematics. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.